if you are a sensitive individual, please scroll. Because what I'm about to share is a lot. So I'm warning you. So let's just get to the point. I've been boxing since I was eight years old. I've been competing since I was 13 and I'm 26 now. I got into boxing because my anger, it was just bad. And um, when I was eight, this girl was picking on me. I told my, I went back in the house, told my mom, she said, knock her out. But she was just like, it's a fit. You know, people just say that. So um, I did that. <laughs> went outside, I literally knocked her out. And flip flops and my hair, I just got, my mom had just put a relaxer in my hair. Um, so that that's how that started. Now with the stuff I've been through, I've been through a lot in boxing. I've been through a whole lot. And this is just amateur boxing. A lot of people think this stuff just happened in the pros. No. Where do y'all think it starts? It starts in the amateurs. You know, and boxing is, co is a corrupted sport, you know, as a whole. So, anyways, when stuff started happening, like, when I start, my eyes started opening, like, what's go what really goes down? Like, it was 2017, and I was 19 years old. So, <clears throat> I went to the Eastern Elite Qualifiers, you know, um, it's a week long tournament. And when you go to these tournaments, it pushes up your ranking, you know, so it's a ranked tournament. And so um, I went there in 2017. It was my first major tournament that I've ever been to. Clearly, you can see I was excited because I'm cheesing mad hard. So <laughs> I went there and it was October 15th through the 21st of 2017. So, you know, I when you go to these tournaments, you got to be on weight. And I fought at 119, um, ban on weight. And um, so I just left weigh-ins, right? And I was walking with a friend. I was walking with a friend, and we were going back to our hotel. She was staying in a different hotel than I was, but it was close. You know, we could walk right across the street from each other. I was like, I'm just going to chill, watch some fights. So we're starting to walk. These two coaches come up to her and was like hey you know our hotel is in the venue or I think it was like across the street you coming up and so I'm ignoring because you know it's none of my business what they're talking about and until they looked at me and was like oh is she coming too so I looked like I'm not going nowhere with y'all I don't know you and I just started getting bad feelings at the time I was 19 years old so um, I was very naive and oblivious about a lot um, I was a virgin as well I was saving myself till marriage um, unfortunately, sad to say, later on that year in December, um, a couple of months later, I got raped. So it was a lot. But um, back chat to October at the tournament. Um, coaches, coaches came up, asked her, you know, if I was coming up. And I said, what are they talking about? So she told me, she was like, I'm sorry to put my charger in. So she told me, she was like, first she told them, she was like, oh, hold on. I, I got to tell her. I, she don't know. So I'm like, why is she trying to act like she put me on to something? Like, I can feel it like, like, bro, she about to tell me something that's like some bull crap. So she told me, she was like, you got to play the game. You got to play the game. And it's crazy because it's like when people would say that to me, it would really trigger me. It would really trigger me because I'm just like, something don't feel right when people say that. So I said, what do you mean by that? And she was like, well, how do you think I get my tournaments paid for? I said, you do fundraisers. And she was like, well, how do you get your money? I said, my dad helps me raise money. Look on his Facebook page. You know, like I told her how he does it. I said, so where are you getting that? Because they were still like, hey, you coming? Like they kept doing that. And she was like, um, she was like, well, you know, I I'm going to teach you this P word game. I was like, what are you? I said, I said, um, I said her name. I ain't going to say her name up here. I was like, you know, I'm a virgin, right? And I don't do that. I'm saving myself till marriage. She was like, that's cute and all, but you got to play the game if you want to be successful in this sport. That's what I've learned. Mind you, I'm 19 at the time, and she's like 10 years older than me. So I'm like, bro, what are you? Like, I was like, yeah, I don't do that. And the, the first thing I realized was like, dang, like, that's crazy. Like, so many people were talking about her, and I didn't believe them because people are just messy anyway so i'm like bro stop starting stuff but when she said it for herself like this is what she do i'm like yeah i gotta cut you off because what it's not gonna be is jada and this person and they think that no they think i'm like that no i don't care you can say what you want so she called me scary she called me lame i said you can call me whatever you want to call me but i don't get down like that i said what i said so it just created a lot of drama between us and uh, I told my dad, I told, you know, who we rolled with. Because I'm just like, bro, 
we not hanging around her. Like I said what I said, I don't care. You know, I'm I'm just now really getting into going to tournaments and stuff like that. I don't want that link to my name. I don't do stuff like that. So that's just what it was. My dad never had a problem with her and um, you know, and I didn't either, but I stand for what I stand for, and that's on standards and integrity. So, um, you know, later on, um, like I said, I got raped at 19. It was a week before my birthday, a week before I turned 20 in December, and um, that was a lot. That was a whole lot. Um, 2018, I had dealt with suicidal thoughts and it was traumatic because you're talking about I've never had experience doing anything like that you know so it it was a lot but and honestly I'm just now healing from that and that's all glory be to God you know and when I say God I'm talking about Jesus Christ I don't care argue with your mama that's true living God so um yeah like that was a lot so 2018 came um I met Terrence Crawford for the first time that was cool he don't even know how much that made my day because that was around let me see I went to National Golden Gloves in 2018 that was in um Omaha Nebraska so he don't even know how much that made my day because the way it went about it was we were at the airport he had just came back I think or I don't know maybe he was leaving and he had somebody with him and I was like hey I was like bud and I was like oh man I was like he left I said it's okay and, but he came back just to, like, say hi to me. And I took a picture. I was like, thank you so much. And I told him my name. I told him where I was from. He thought me and Keyshawn were siblings. And I said, no. I said, but Keyshawn is real cool, though. You know, I was like, um, I was like, we grew up on the same street. We are from Norfolk. But, no, nah, that's not my brother. So, um, but he don't even know. That really made my day. Like, that really made my day. That made my whole week. So, um, I came back from Golden Gloves and stuff like that. I had the best time of my life. It was, I went through a lot of depression because of what I went through as far as being raped, but hey. So, um, later on that year, I went to Chattanooga again, 2018. I'm starting to see girls telling me, yeah, um, I got this opportunity. I got the opportunity. Me, I applied. I'm like, period. Like, I'm happy for them. And still, uh, until they start telling me what they do, to, you know, to to get that sponsor and stuff like that. And I'm just like, yeah, no, they, that, that's not it. That ain't it, babes. Like, uh-uh. That's crazy. It's like, it just kept getting worse, you know. We watched the USA team fight. I don't know if they were fighting against Ireland at the time because they were at the tournament too, but they had their little own thing going on. Some of the girls from the USA team telling me, what they have to do with these coaches sometime and how these coaches be messing with them and you know and I'm like I and they're like well I don't I don't think it was uh rape because I allowed it I said you are underage you are underage that is statutory rape and this man is manipulating you making you get abortions back to back that is not healthy you are an athlete and you have to take care of your body I was like I said what I said I don't care I don't believe in abortions I don't care argue with your mama that is crazy he he's supposed to be professional he's a coach that is weird he said he's your coach he's not supposed to be touching you you're not you you have to speak up you can't be scared I said I understand though I said but that is rape and him manipulating you, making it seem like, oh, that's not the case. That's crazy. Like, y'all are really, nah, nah. So I start speaking on it. And it's like, people get mad at me. Oh, you don't need to be talking about that. What? I said, well, now I know how you would act if that was your daughter. Because it's, it's crazy. It's like, wow, okay. So that means y'all condone it. And y'all are okay with that happening to your daughter, right? And then it gets quiet. And when I say them, I'm talking about, like, coaches that try to come to me, try to check me, and, like, like you won't get check hooked. Like, stop playing with me. So then 2019 came around. 2019 came around, went to Golden Gloves, state, regional. And then I fought in regionals, and I didn't win. So everybody like, oh, man, Jada got robbed. And I was like, mm. I was like, I could have done better. You know, I could have done better. I'm not mad. It is what it is. I did my best.